Hello everyone. Today in this video we will see a general arrangement drawing of a pipe culvert and we will see what are the different components that a pipe culvert have and how they are shown in its general arrangement drawing. So as you can see first of all we have, uh, I will zoom a little bit, uh, we have this plan of pipe culvert. So this pipe culvert uh, is basically below a uh, railway line, railway track. So as you can see here, this is a uh, this is our pipe culvert which starts from here from upstream side and runs towards downstream side. And these are the tracks. These are the center lines of the tracks that are marked here. You can see these are the center lines of the track and these uh, from here we have this uh, slope of embankment in these uh, dashed lines which are shown these are the slopes of embankment both sides this uh, formation is an embankment formation of the track is an embankment so these are the side slope of those embankments so this is the uh, this is basically the pipe culvert that runs below the uh, formation of this track of these tracks so this is the plan uh, this in plan as you can see uh, this is uh, the head wall this is the head wall here this is the upstream side of the pipe culvert and this is the downstream side of the pipe culvert here also this is the toe wall and this is the head wall of pipe culvert and this is the pipe culvert here as you can see if I zoom a little bit the diameter of this pipe culvert is shown here which is 1200 mm and the thickness of the pipe that is used is 120 mm and diameter is 1200 mm. Now after the plan we will see section. So as you can see here a section A A dash is taken from here. A section A A dash is cut and is seen from this side here arrow is marked so it is seen from this side towards this. So here section A A dash which is uh, which was shown in the arrow is shown here. So as you can see in the section we can clearly see the tracks here. This is the up track and this is the down track. And uh, center to center distance between both these tracks is 6000 mm. And uh, the edge distance from center of both uh, tracks of both side is uh, 3.75 meter or uh, th or 3750 mm so as you can see so below the tracks uh, we have this blanket of 600 mm thick blanketing and below that we have subgrade and this is as this is an embankment so cushion is basically more so this uh, from here below uh, from the top of this is basically the formation level below these tracks uh, below tracks we have a uh, 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 blast so below blast uh, this is the top of formation level uh, above the blanket so, and uh, uh, below it we have blanket and below it we have subgrade and embankment so this total depth from here uh, from the top of formation to the uh, to the top of this pipeline this is called cushion so this is the cushion so as you can see here the cushion is uh, uh, 3.813 meter this value is in mm so if you convert it to into meter then it will be 3.813 meter so this is the cushion and now what are the rest of the components here that we can see this is the head wall this is a head wall and this is the boulder pitching which is done uh, beside the head wall uh, on the upstream side it is for 1500 mm this boulder pitching and on downstream side it is for 3000 mm as water will fall uh, on it so here on downstream side uh, this length of boulder pitching is more than that on upstream side this is our toe wall and this is our head wall here as you can see this invert level is marked uh, 122.7 meter this is the invert level here and uh, this is upstream side and this is downstream side so water will flow from this side to this side and here invert level is also marked on down, downstream side 
so it is clear that the invert level on downstream side will be lesser than that on upstream side because water is flowing from this direction to this direction so these are the components in the section so after the section uh, we show in uh, in the general arrangement drawing we show these two details uh, of head wall and toe wall so now we will zoom out these details so the details for head wall are shown here here as you can see this is the detail of head wall so this is the uh, formation slope line uh, the slope is one vertical is to two horizontal as you can see here and these are the boulder pitching that uh, we had talked about earlier uh, on upstream side it is for 1500 mm length this stone pitching or boulder pitching so this is the detail of head wall same things are here and this is the uh, detail of toe wall uh, which is on downstream side so here the length of stone pitching is for 3000 mm so these are the details of head wall and toe wall after that we have this uh, longitudinal sections for rcc pipes here the joint detail is shown uh, here in this uh, uh, drawing the spigot and socket arrangement for joints is shown you can see these uh, de joint details for pipes here as you can see for pipes between uh, 250 to 900 mm, 900 mm dia spigot and socket joint is used and for pipes greater than 900 mm dia internal flush type of joint is used so both the joint details are shown here and here a section is cut and a pipe is shown as you can see here the diameter is 1200 mm and it is 120 mm thick above it we have this head wall and below the pipe we have this uh, stone pitching so same thing is shown here and one cross section of pipe is also shown here same thing is here also and after that we have this key plan where key plan of this whole arrangement is shown you can see that this uh, pipe starts from here and it uh, runs up to here and these are the tracks both side and it this uh, pipe culvert run across the track below the formation and after that at last we have uh, some notes regarding the drawing which are kept here as you can see these notes are generally uh, the standards that we have followed in the preparation of these drawings so same things are written here as you can see all the dimensions are in millimeter and uh, codes which are the codes that are followed in preparation of these GADs and designs of the same thing same these things are mentioned in the notes so these are the notes so this was uh, this is how a general arrangement diagram of pipe culvert is prepared this is the standard of standard general arrangement drawing of a pipe culvert i hope this video was helpful to you thank you and have a nice day